shop making robots. This video was made possible through the support of Jack Singer. If you're interested in being a part of this and helping out make these videos and teach people about robots and high voltage and science and all kinds of cool stuff, check out the links below in the description. Get involved, get on the Patreon, and be a part of it. We'd love to have you here. Thank you. Hi there, guys. Welcome back to the shop. I'm here with Mr. Kidwell, and we're making a robot video. Real. You and me in the shop. Making robots. Making robots. I have waited years, years since I was young and pretty and had a hairline. You got a hairline. I do. Just... I just keep it behind my ears now. Yes. So I got. I wanted to build a robot. Mm -hmm. And I got looking around. I started researching. There are exactly 2.8 bajillion different robot that kits man. on the internet. That man. Oh God, it's nuts. But I found this guy, his name's Chris Annan. Mm -hmm. He started a little company called Annan Robotics. And okay. this guy, this this guy's cool. I've never talked to him. Love this guy. Just, okay. oh my God. He decided, he's like, he's gotta be like a robotic systems engineer or something like that. He, this guy knows stuff about things. Lots of them. Lots of things. Lots of things. And he decided to make his own robot. And he made, first he designed a robot that you could 3D print. Okay. Complete arm that you can 3D print on like a reasonable size 3D printer like ours. Okay, right. You don't have to need any more of the big giant ones. And then he took it to the next step and all the 3D print parts, Yeah. he hired out a machine shop to machine them and sells all the hardware as kits. Okay. okay. So that was the phase one video. I talked about the parts and I just went over these are the parts. Okay. All right. And then so with that, you get the kit, and then you, you, you have to 3D print a few parts. Like, this has three parts. It's this, and this piece, and then here down. That's your base. Okay. And basically, it just gives a place for the wires to go, right? Okay, yeah. And then the lid. And right. this is super cool. Like, I've been playing with 3D printers for a year. Mm -hmm. The idea that you can 3D print a custom wire enclosure. Right. That already has the perfect knockouts. Like, these are for aviation plugs. These are for Ethernet. This is for a power plug. These are outs. Like, and it's just cool. Like, it's got the exact knockouts with the the right. holes. Yes. That's cool as hell to me. I'm still, I'm still really digging into what can be done with 3D printing, and this blows my mind. So we got, we got our phase one video, and then, and which I know you've watched like 20 times, riveted with the most thrilling oh. video on the internet. I'd like. This is the J4 motor mount. Yeah, it's yeah. a really boring video. But what it's for is if somebody wants to build their own robot, they can see the part. They can, they, and now they're like, oh, that's what that part is. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Annan released this entirely open source. Okay. The software, the hardware, everything, just here you go, make a robot. Go get smarter. Okay. I'm, I have a huge respect for that. And then his next kit. Because you've got, so you got all your parts, okay? Right. The second kit is all the pulleys. That, that actually goes over there. Is all the pulleys and the bearings. And I Ooh. went through and separated everything out and counted them and measured them and organized them. And I put all lots, individual lots bags. little bags. I took all the time to do that. And some stuff, you got to do more stuff. Like on... These, yeah. I gotta broach those with like a three millimeter broach. Okay. I don't have my own arbor press, which is hilarious because in the going out of business sale, I sold like three of them. Mm -hmm. I don't have one now. Um, but I know people, so I'm gonna try and broach that, but I might just do, it's soft aluminum. Right. I think I can do it with a file because it's like two and three millimeter broaching. Okay. I think I can do it with a file. So we got all the parts, and then we got all the hardware. Screws, lots and lots of screws. And washers. Bolts, screws, washers, socket head cap screws. There's like three different kinds of bearings in this and chain. 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 That goes down to J2. Got you. But it's it's an awesome kit. So I wanted to take a minute and talk about what's in sec what's in the second batch of stuff because I covered the first batch. Right. And I figured I'd just take a minute and we talk about different things and like what they are and things to expect. Now, I don't know about other people, but I took the time and a pair of tweezers 
and sorted out everyone, because they come in a bag all together, all of the set screws. Yeah, and I see you've got like three or four different varieties. I have 18 M4 by 5 millimeter long set screws. Okay. I have seven M3 by six millimeter long set screws. I have four M3 by 10 millimeter long set screws. And I went through and I did this for every size set screw that there are, like this one. I have um, M4 by 10, 10 of them, okay? Mm -hmm. The problem is there's a, there's a manifest on his website, like a bill of materials of like, this is what you need to do this. Yeah. Those numbers don't line up with his list. That's a problem. I don't, well, I don't know. Okay. Because. I think that there's the original instructions on the website and it's evolved a lot since so then. Have changed. So I'm just going with what came in the box. I didn't lose anything, I didn't add anything. And if we all of a sudden need a set screw, we, we can go to Fastenal. Yes. Like the, between um, Fastenal, Coochies, and Menards, I can get pretty much, I, like I'm not going to get that. Right. But nuts and bolts and stuff, that's pretty easy. Okay. So we have just, I'm not going to go through and count and organize everything because there's really no need. This is mainly just to give you an idea of what to expect. In the hardware kit, you're going to find a bunch of set screws. You're going to get some really nice pulleys. I think that came in that kit, actually. That may have come in that kit. Um, but there's, there's well, pulleys. Mating pulleys over there with a belt. These came in the hardware kit, in this, yes. yeah. But you get three different belts, those three pulleys, this pulley, more little bags of nuts and bolts and washers and stuff than you can shake a stick at. There's there's a pile of those. So a little... You get a little hardware store, yeah, basically. A little thread gauge with, like, one of those little plastic screw size. Would be really handy. Would be really handy. I used the big thread gauges. And yeah. seeing all the M's, I would assume a metric version would be Yeah, and my thread gauges don't go small enough to do the M3s Yeah, and I know, fours. I saw those. So I did those with calipers. <laughs> it's not hard. Um, but we there's need a... need to get you a metric thread gauge. This is the J3 chain. It's a roller chain, 04B with a 6 millimeter okay. pitch. Um, and it comes with a master link. I put them together in the same baggie because I figured right. you're probably going to answer that. I didn't that. see the sprockets to go with the There's the sprockets there's to go with the chain. Cool. See, I was getting right on that. Do you like that? I'm I there. Timing. These need broaching. By broaching, do you mean cutting a keyway? Or yeah, side? yeah. Okay. Yeah, cutting a, a, a rectangular keyway. Mm -hmm. There's a square head set screw. There's only one, and it goes somewhere down here, I think. I don't know. It's in the manual, but you got to cut that off. So we gotta, we get to use the crappiest angle grind or crappiest bench grinder in America. This sucks as a bench grinder. Doesn't work at all as a buffer. If you ever have the opportunity, if you need a bench grinder, I want you to check out the beautiful Ryobi Bravo Gamma Six One Two Gamma Grinder. Check this out in the store. Take a good hard look at it and then just keep walking because this sucks. This is an absolute piece of shit and it's totally nutless. Do not buy this grinder. Oh my god. You got, you got an opinion. I got opinions on that piece of shit. So there's a, this is the J3 thrust needle bearing. That's just cool. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm used to seeing roller bearings that look like this. Right. You know, those kind of needle bearings. like on your car. This is this, so a thrust cool. Bearing. And I put the washers in there with it, like it's a whole set. And I'm really happy he did this because some of these you can get on Amazon, some of these you gotta go to McMaster Car, some of these you gotta go some there's 15 different places. He is buying this like in volume and building up the kits up and the kids. probably adds like a hundred bucks to the water and then sends it there out. There you go. And that's so cool because it makes it so much easier for a guy like me. Mm -hmm. um, we've got, these are the big J4 needle roller bearings. Okay. You said you don't have an arbor press. Do those bearings need to be press fitting to anything? Or well, you see. Yes, they do, but they don't. Because the, Mr. Annan is smart, and he knows that most people don't have an arbor press. So what he did... I think we're running out of the arbor frame right here. No! Okay. No! No! He designed it in such a way where, like, okay, these are the, these are your bearings right here. These are your J1 bearings, right? Right. And we gotta put the J1 bearings, ah! Jesus! We gotta put the J1 bearings in here. Right. And on here. 
Then okay. that sits like that. Okay. Right. And then there's two big bearings, right? So here's what you do. And this is in the manual. Okay, and this is an old shop trick. Like, it's, he's not inventing anything new here. He's not telling you to heat it up, are you? You put that in the oven for an hour at like 350. You put that in the freezer for an hour. And then when you're ready, you really quick grab that, set it on the nice wooden table, grab this, drop it in there, and it should just, whoop, and you just like tap it together and you're good. However, he has said that there is a variation in manufacturing. So some of these may experience enough where this will just drop in. See that? That's that's perfect. That's mm -hmm. that's fine. And it may not perfect, but that's really close. Yeah. And so it's it's cool. And it might be a thing where like if I can almost get that, but not quite, it I can put it in and heat it and let it drop. No, because you'd have to heat that without heating this. But you could do the oven trick and heat it up, and it's not hard to do. Um, and just, I'm doing a whole series of videos on this, one step at a time, I'm building it. If it works for wooden barrels. It does, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna show all the tricks and stuff like that as okay. we do it. So, um, these are big thrust washers, and I labeled where they all go. Mm -hmm. And then I found them in the kit from the picture and I put it all together. So as I as we go through the video series and put this together, I'll say like, this is exactly this part and I'll, I'll prove why. Like, okay. I, because there's a lot of stuff that looks alike. Mm -hmm. and, and it's off by just fractions of an inch. Um, and he shows the little tricks like with these. These are three millimeter linear bushing bearings. All okay. Right. And there's a piece of shaft somewhere. These are three millimeter shafts. Right. But here they're 100 millimeters long. They don't need to be that long. These need to fit inside this here. Okay. So they gotta be cut down a fair bit. Right. And you gotta, you gotta cut them down, then you gotta dress them, and frequently, because there's a high variability in cheap Chinese shafting, um, these may not fit these. And if you force those onto here, you'll screw those up. You'll, they'll like, they'll shit the balls. Right. Um, so he shows, you know, how to dress this with a piece of scotch brite and just chuck it in a drill. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to talk about that. We're going we're gonna to go through the whole thing. There's this big pin, 8 millimeter keyed shaft. I think this is the shaft for the big, for that. Okay. Could be totally wrong. I'm not into it yet. Big washers, little bearings, bigger bearings, 3 by 3 millimeter set screws. Hold on, put those with the rest of the set screws. Those are down here. Oh, well, it's all gonna get organized like that. Oh, I got more set screws over here. We've got M3 by four millimeter set screws. We've got five of those. Mm -hmm. There is one of, that's the two millimeter key. Okay. And then more thrust bearings, of which there are three. Okay. Now these are all the same part, but two are for J4 and one's for J6. Got it. So I labeled it two J4 and J6. That works. And that's, that's phase two. All okay, right. so this is phase one. This is phase two as we accumulate the materials. And that's one of the cool things about this robot is normally for a robot of this size, ability, complexity, etc., mm -hmm. you're spending like 20 grand. Right. 500 bucks. Okay, these, these aren't him, that's me, but 500 bucks right there. All right. Okay, and then this is less than 500 bucks. Okay, for all the hardware here. So that's another 500 bucks, right? Right. So 500 bucks, 500 bucks. Okay. Bite-sized pieces. Got ya. Guys like me who have a couple bucks to play with, but not for real, not like robot money. This can all be assembled before you get that? No, you can't do anything with that until you get this. Okay. But this is one one section of parts, and it's, right. it's it's that's one kit. Okay. okay. So you save up 500 bucks, you get your first kit. You go save up another few hundred bucks, you get your second kit, okay? And they're each about 500 bucks, give or take. It's like between three. Right. And then, you save up another 500 bucks. Now this one doesn't come from Mr. Anna. This comes from China, okay. okay? But there's a place called Stepper Online that is working with him. And this is the, I haven't even opened this yet. Okay. Like I haven't, I haven't taken this Ooh, out. Oh, unboxing video. Un this, this is an unboxing video. This is phase three. Okay, and we're going to talk about this in the next video, but yeah, not yeah. today. Not today. Oh, not here today. I am getting ready to do it. No, no. All right. This will happen 
This video will happen when it's time. Ah. It's not yet time. So when this is assembled, we'll be able to get the motors out and start. I'm just gonna do it all at once. Doing it all. Yeah. Once. All right. I'm gonna start on phase four, but I don't even begin. I just got this a couple okay. days ago, and I've been waiting well, for you. That's phase one. But yeah. And that's phase two. Yeah. And that's phase three. Yeah. What's phase four? Mostly Amazon. Mostly Amazon. Phase four is okay. You put these three together, mm -hmm. and you have like ninety percent of the robot. Okay. Ninety nine percent maybe. And then there's a bunch of stuff off Amazon that is the control cabinet and all that crap. All right. Because this, you remember the big Kuka? Yeah. It had the box. Right. That's phase four, is the box. Okay. This is this is the robot. This is like almost all, I think it's missing like the encoders and a couple stupid things, but okay. most of the robot is here. Like you could start building stuff with this, and I'm going to. The thing I'm missing, not seeing, is an end effector. Does this robot have an end we'll effector? We'll get there, that's part of phase four. That's part it's of phase It's gonna four. have a grippy. It's gonna have a grippy. Okay. Oh, okay. now you know. Now I know. But that's the phase two video. Okay. Okay, so we gotta go now. We gotta go. Because it's not time yet. I'm so glad we had this time together. <laughs> we want to thank you guys for hanging out here and joining us in this video. This is the phase two of Project Archie. And get in the Discord. Links are below in the description. You can follow along. You can get involved with this. You can check it out. You can be a part of this. And by all means, build your own if you get the opportunity. Because you could be hanging out here with the live crowd, being a part, just hanging out, being cool, like, say hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> hey, there they are. So there are we people did. hanging out live while we make these videos, and you could be one of them. Check out the links below in the Discord and get involved. But for now, we'll see you next time. And this is where we go out. Shut up.